All right, so this is a MATLAB script that basically implements the eigenvalue power method that we talked about in another video, except instead of doing the computations by hand, we're gonna let MATLAB do the computations for us, and we're gonna see how the algorithm converges. So first, let me just kind of show you the picture that we're going to see. Let me put a breakpoint down here. I'll just kind of show you the plot that this script creates. So this picture right here shows the actual eigenvalue as the blue line, and then the initial eigenvalue that we get after one iteration of the algorithm. Similarly down here, the actual direction of the eigenvector of the matrix is the blue line, and our current guess is this red line. So if I let this script run, what we'll see is the, the movie kind of shows how we converge to the true value. Our guess, this red value is getting closer and closer to the true eigenvalue, and you can see how far away we are from the true eigenvalue. And then similarly, the eigenvector gets closer and closer to the true direction, and eventually has like an angle difference of zero. So that's kind of what you see when you run this script. Let me kind of show you the code that does that. So if you actually run it, this was the uh, matrix that we did in the previous video. A was the simple two by two matrix. And if we do an eigen decomposition, we can get the eigenvectors and we can get the actual values of the matrix. So this had one eigenvalue of minus two and another eigenvalue of 16. Here is my initial guess that I'm gonna guess for, that we need for the power uh, method. Remember one of the entries has to be one. And then this next chunk of code right in here is just me kind of setting up the figure. So I'll just let that run. So here's kind of the baseline figure. You can see I plot the blue line for the eigenvalue that we should converge to. And this blue line is the eigenvector that we should converge to. Here is the actual algorithm now. I'm gonna keep track of a vector. So the number of iterations, I'm gonna do 10 total iterations. And then this, eigen, this value, this vector right here, will keep track of the guess for the eigenvalue on each iteration. This right here is the actual algorithm. So as we loop through, these are the steps. Remember, we take A and we multiply it by our initial guess. We do this projection, you get this matrix right here. And then we take the max entry of this vector, right? So in this case, it would be nine. I'm gonna go ahead and store that off because that's our guess for the eigenvalue. So I store it off in this vector so that first entry got populated. And then I normalize the projection by this value. So after I do that divide by, I get this vector right here. This right here is just me taking care of some uh, graphics handles to delete the old ones. And then I'm doing some um, figuring out of what angle the vector is compared to the true vector so we can display that. So this is now is just plotting. The real algorithm stuff happened up here. So let's go ahead and show what happens after this one iteration. So there's our initial guess for the eigenvalue. Here is our initial guess for the eigenvector. And as we let this run over and over again, we go through the exact same steps. We do a projection, we get the max value. I store off that max value in this vector and then renormalize. So let's just kind of walk through that a few times so we can see what's happening. Here's our next projection, grab the max value, store it off so we can kind of keep track of it and then normalize. So that just keeps happening over and over again. And if we let it run, we'll see the exact same movie that we started with. All right, so that is that. You can see how the angle difference between the eigenvector and our guess for the eigenvector gets smaller and smaller. We can do some other things though. We can choose a different guess, right? So here I'm gonna guess a completely different value and we'll see what happens. Very similar thing happens. My initial guess really didn't matter. I still converge to the true eigenvalue and true eigenvector. Obviously for this specific example, going out 10 iterations really isn't required. By the time we got to three or four iterations, we are really close. Here's another guess. You can see it converge. Slightly different convergence behavior because our guess was different, but still does converge. If I use a different matrix, let me comment out that. So this code right here is kind of nice because it lets me control the um, values a little bit more specifically, and we can play games with how close the eigenvalues are to themselves. So here you can see what happens by setting this to seven and this to two, I ended up with eigenvalues of four and 14. And those are a little bit closer than the eigenvalues were for this matrix. So if you remember, the power method really likes it when you have large differences in eigenvalues. The, the larger that difference, the quicker they converge. 
or the quicker the algorithm converges. So one thing we might expect in this case is it might take a little bit longer to converge. And that's exactly what happens here. We have to go out a little bit further in terms of iterations before we converge. I can actually make it even a little harder here. If we make this a four. Let's run this again. Now the values are eight and 14, so they're a little bit closer. So I think this should actually take a little bit longer to converge, and it does. So you can see we get off to some initial guess. We're still going to converge, but it's taking longer to get closer to the true values. So anyway, that's uh, it for now. I kind of like this script. I like kind of watching this movie. It kind of graphically represents exactly what's happening with this power algorithm for estimating the largest eigenvalue and the largest or and the eigenvector associated with the largest eigenvalue. You can you know, put in a very specific matrix here if you'd like, or parameterize it in this manner with the eigenvectors here and then values related to the eigenvalues here to just see how the algorithm behaves as that difference between the eigenvalues varies. Thanks for watching everyone.